How can you take something that is so well known, rework it completely, and at the same time not lose the essence of it? Uh, my name is Don Chadwick. I am the uh, co-designer of the Aeron Chair. First of all, I don't think you know when you start designing a chair that it's going to be any kind of an icon. But in looking at Herman Miller's history, you get a few clues. I feel if a design has certain validities, it deserves to take a second look. Because when you start working with Herman Miller, you're looking at some of the past, and yet you want to look to the future. It started with the Equitier. The whole idea was to disassociate ourselves from the stereotypes. And we said, if we design a chair that fits all people and provides the comfort, it was a more democratic solution. And when it came time to work on the Aaron chair, we have to look at it in the same way. And it became a chair for everybody, and that was our intent. But we never expected it to be so many everybody's. We knew we had a design that was breaking new ground. It has a certain character, it has a certain soul. So I can understand why the desire to continue the Aeron legend, if you will. We really started from the ground up. We didn't want to do any compromising. If anything, we wanted to have less compromises. We have a new tilt mechanism we have a whole new suspension system. The chair is more lively, it's more responsive, it's more sensitive to the body weight and body size. It's a lighter chair in scale. It has better spine support. We have all new adjustments for the back. You can get in the chair and try it out. It's going to be a, a whole new experience for you. The Aeron is gonna rediscover a whole new generation of users. It's really a chair of today and of tomorrow as well.